Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's Eternity of Pain, week number three, and we're going against Blade. Now, I wanted to show you guys this. You got item use on right now, and I wanna show you what I got in my overflow. You got two revives about to expire, and a couple more that will be expiring soon. I think I counted like 17 or so, all right? Um, so I'm not overly obsessed with trying to get a one shot. If I could just get a good run, I'll revive. Okay. And you see it's four hours and 42 minutes left. So I already completed, as you see, hundred percent completed, a uh, hundred percent explored. I already did the, um, mercenary one. I used hit monkey. If you saw that video yesterday morning, and this time I'm going to use Namor. Namor is an Avenger. And that's the final one that I need uh, to get all the points this time for that objective. Now, I showed you in my video yesterday some of my fails and bloopers using um, Namor. And uh, it continued. It continued. I continued having problems uh, dexing um, and having it read as a parry and, and things like that at the worst time, especially. All right. Now, I'm boosting up just to say I am. Uh, some of these I don't think really help me all that much, but I have them. You see, I'm capped out on, on that mutant power one. Um, and I'm just like, why not use one? You know, they're not doing me any good sitting there. But that's it. I don't believe you need um, to boost up for this fight. Uh, of course, I am using a rank three six star. Now, uh, something that I will mention um, and I already talked about this fight uh, in my last video. But my strategy here, uh, I parry first, and then I go in, do some damage, and at this point, I just want to bait out specials and keep away from him while that destructive feedback is up. Once it's down, I can go in again, and I still have to bait out because he has those surge charges. Now, um, when I first started with Namor, I was trying to do a particular uh, strategy. And you notice that I fired a special one off. My strategy in the beginning was to basically play around, play around until I had enough of those uh, charges so that I could go Imperious Rex, get a special three. Um, I saw Karate Mike do this. Now, first of all, Karate Mike is better than I am. And second of all, uh, I have to line those things up just right. I don't know how many times he tried to get it to line up like that, but the fight is over quickly if you can do that. Okay, you see where I have like 28, uh, 29, right? And I probably shouldn't have pushed him like that. But if I could have timed that to where uh, I was hitting him, I could have gotten a special three off gotten a um fury and the fight would have been much faster okay because that fury is a big boy fury all right so that's that would be great if i could do it but i was having a lot of problems and so i said you know what i'm not gonna even uh try to do that if it happens and i see it great if not i'm just gonna fight this nice and slow the way that i know to fight destructive feedback now, something else that you uh, want to be aware of, uh, especially if you're gonna be doing what I just mentioned here. Um, when he has those surge charges, if you can hit him with a special attack, he takes a lot of damage per surge charge. So that's why you sometimes see me firing off my special uh, one. But I also fire off the special two when I do get that Imperious Rex and, and all of that, and all of that does great damage. The fight is a little slower doing it that way, but um, I think it's safer. Now, in this attempt, everything seemed to be clicking pretty well for me. I was able to dex, and I am trying to dex earlier than I normally would, uh, and it seemed to be working okay. All right, there we go. See, so you had Imperious Rex, and I'm in the corner. Boom, he caught me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm about to die. All right, but here we go. Boom, boom. Got that special two off, right? 
That special two does a lot of damage, as you see. We're down, he's down to 54%. Now, I am running suicides. So that also gives me a lot more damage than, you know, if you're not running suicides. All right, so he caught me in the corner there. We fought our way out, got the special two off, and we're back to our basic strategy where um, you can do one parry before you do any damage, one parry when they're in that destructive feedback. And I use that as well as hitting into his block to create space. Don't want to get caught in the corner because I don't know how to, bait, um, to evade that heavy attack. You might, I don't. All right, so uh, if you're like me and you don't know how to evade that heavy, don't get caught in the corner. All right, bait, you know, push him as much as possible. All right, and you can see we're just whittling him down. And I'm, I'm able to evade. And uh, I, like I said, I don't know why it was having such issues. And at the end of this video, uh, I will uh, include some of the bloopers and fails because uh, I had a lot of them. And I showed you a bunch of them in the video yesterday. And I'm not going to even repeat those. The ones that I'm showing you at the end of this are just for today. That's it. All right. Um, and it's not that many of them. All right. See, we got Imperius Rex again. Lost our chance to do the special three. But you see, I'm doing that special two. And I do not, do not want to hit him, uh, push him to a special two. And I was afraid of that. And I was so happy he did not get pushed to a special two because that's pretty much lights out, okay? Uh, unless you're good at evading that entire special two, it's usually going to be lights out for you. So you want to bait out special ones as many times as you need to. Keep him to the right-hand side of the screen as much as possible. Hit into the block even if it heals him a little bit. It's better than getting caught in the corner. So at this point in the fight, I'm like, whoa, I might be able to do this. I might be able to get a one shot. I'm not revive. I mean, I'm not um, restarting after this. No way. Okay. I'm looking, I'm like 14%. If I die, I'm just going to revive and finish this thing. I'm not going to do this all over again. All right. So you see here, he's destructive feedback. I'm just baiting out the special. So I could have um, parried him once. But it wore out. I did another parry. All right. Um, I'm intercepting a little bit. And, you know, he's, he's going down. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so 10%. And we got to bait out that special one again. And he wasn't doing crazy passive behavior. All right. And here we go. All right. Boom. Get him with that special two. And he's done. Just like that. All right. So next, for the rest of the video, you're going to see my bloopers and fails. All right. So take care. Uh, I enjoyed. Uh, well, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad uh, once we got into the rhythm. All right. So take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And you all have a blessed day.